Remember the singing lady? Let's pretend, you know? You don't remember, huh? Mm -hmm. I used to listen to her all the time. She's about a radio and eat oranges, you know? Listen to singing lady. Oh, man, she's telling stories. Anybody tell a story, I'd be there listening, you know? Just don't read, you know? <laughs> I'm just listening, see? And by the time I get through figuring out what the hell the sentence said, I forgot what the rest of the page was about, you know? I keep putting words backwards and, and inverting numbers. Go see me dial a telephone sometimes. Wow. So I just decided that a long time ago, you know, that I'm going to have to learn about things in another way. And that's making my other senses, like, you know, observation, my seeing, a lot of trial and error, you know, a lot more error than trial sometimes. I don't know. I had to get through high school, you know, we had to make these book reports, you know. In high school, you used to make book reports. You're supposed to read a book and then write a report on it, saying, all right, yeah. you know. So Claire Matthews used to always make my book reports for me. She and I kind of had a little thing going here, but so Claire, she'd make my book reports, you know. Well, I took Gene Hunt out a couple of times then. See, Claire found out about that, <laughs> which I had to try to disguise, because I couldn't see it. Don't make me. I didn't see anything wrong with that. I mean, it's just a dumb mode, you know. It's very smart that way at that time. Was, you know? And so I took Gene out then. So it comes time for my book report, and I say, Claire, you got my book report? <laughs> just one book report. And I said, why don't you make my book report? She go ask Gene Hunt to make your book report. Well, well, yeah, I mean, I, can you see anything wrong? I mean, I mean just because I took Gene out don't mean she doesn't have to make my book report, you know? <laughs> That's why I didn't think it was really good. And all these years of friendship there, you know? And so I learned Gene, and Gene said, oh, yeah, she's going to make a book report for me. Oh, man. Yeah. And here I am. She's an Ios man. i got to make this book report. So, I'm using my cunning, you know? I figure, okay, I go to the library. And the place I knew best in the library is where me and Claire used to neck was in the thing. You know? <laughs> and so I went back and started looking for books. And the requirement was it had to be semi-thick, big type, and a number of you know, pictures of the letter, you know, in the book. And so I go back and I find this book, see. I mean, I'm, I'm not really embarrassed by telling you this either. I'm just telling you because of the fact, you know. The son said I ought to be. Anyhow, anyway, the book was Jack the Fire Dog, see? I mean, God damn it, you know? So I started to read this, you know, and I really got into it, you know? I mean, I got into it, see? That's the, this is the whole thing, you know? It's Jack the Fire Dog, he saved this blind girl from the, underneath the stairwell of the house, and he would get the horses ready and the fire dog would go ahead of them. Ah, Jack the Fire Dog. So I wrote this book before, Jack the Fire Dog. So Penino calls me up in front of only Right. Yes, I'm a senior. I said, right. <laughs> Jack, the fire dog. <laughs> you know, like, I really got into it. Right, Jack, the fire dog. I said, listen, you know, so now I'm starting to think I'm in trouble. Got to know how to get out of this. So I had it. Mr. Shelley was our English teacher. So he was telling us about symbolism, you know? Like the Verge Act. They got, you know? Talking about what the plume symbolized and all the stuff, you know. So I said, "Don't you understand that?" I said, "I said the dog doesn't stand for dog. The dog stands for for the human kindness of humanity." I said, "No, I said right." I said, oh, he's right." <laughs> he said, "Did you really write it?" I said, "I swear I wrote it." He said, "Okay, go sit down." So he gave me a C on it. <laughs> so I started telling him all these symbols were. So that was really the only book I read. <laughs> I'm not putting down with But now that Paula and I are together, Paula reads to me, you know? And she reads to me things which are really neat, you know, like, ah, uh, you know, I, I, uh, it'd be like, you know, you ever read, uh, you probably did, you know, I mean, you all have them. Like, you know, like, you ever read Alice in Wonderland as an adult? That's supposed to be a kid's story, you know? Like, true to look at glass? That's a violent story, man. That's heavy. And the guy who wrote it had this little thing with this little girl, you know? It's a strange, strange thing. You know, wow. I'm telling you, is it oysters? You know, the time has come to our set. And it's not eating these oysters. Yours said, don't eat them. Oh, my God. And my kids are reading that stuff, you know? I don't know. And she's that. And she had a whole dick, you know, again. Really neat, because she explains everything as we're doing it. I usually fall asleep. She's a little bit better. You're sleeping. No. Hey. 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 That's great. I'm really and, uh, and then people were sending me, uh, I have so many friends, you know. This one lady sent me, you know, the talking books for the blind, you know, sent me some talking books. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I listen to them as they work, you know. They're really good. I have one. Who did the, the 
jungle books, you know? Uh, <laughs> Kipling, yeah, Kipling. Woo, really good stuff, you know? And it was, it's narrated by Boris Karloff. Fantastic, fantastic. And it's one great one, yes. Tumaya the Elephant, you know? It's about every kid's dream of being swept up by the elephants and put on the elephant's back and running with the elephants to their secret place where they dance or nobody's ever seen them before, you know? Ah, oh, it's just great, see? This is great, really like it. Anyhow, <laughs> however, I see it. You know, I see Paula was reading this one book, you know? So I figured, I'll just surprise her, you know? I'll just read that book, you know? Then I can talk to her about it, you know? And it'll really wipe her out, you know? So the book was, uh, is, uh, was, uh, Lady Chatterley's mother, you know? <laughs> I thought, son of a fuck, it's no wonder she reading these books. <laughs> I said, oh, right, you know what I mean? I got right into that. I read the whole book. I just skipped a page, huh? Wait, what was it? A game hunt. I like game. A game hunter is a good game. Game keeper. The game keeper is a good game. <laughs> you know? Yeah, better than Jack the Fire Dog. Well, I'll tell you. You know, again, I said, it's just some tale of fame, see? And then I was on an airplane. I've gone flying a couple hours to uh, New Zealand. And uh, New Zealand, I'm not straight. And uh, there's a book in the thing here. And I read that whole damn little book. It's called uh, Through the Eye of the Needle, you know? Wow, it's a good book. And then I saw the movie. So now I know what people mean when they say, you know, but you should have read the book. I was like, you should have read the book, you know? Look, I saw the movie. Are you kidding me? Now I know what they mean. So I might get, you know, try to get into more of that kind of thing, you know? I got to look and see what Paul is reading. You know? Yeah. I really blew her away though when I when I started talking to her about it. I said, Jan, yeah, you know the part about you? What the hell's that was wrong? <laughs> She's helped you just, you know. I got 
now so that I mix uh, food coloring in the slips, you know, so they can see the colors and the slips. And the That's a good idea, see? I used to have them labeled with names. It means nothing, you know? Then I thought I'd try to get animals, you know? So I put giraffes with the giraffes, you know, alligators with the alligators. They had alligators and giraffes and monkeys all mixed up, you know, that. Something, you know, I'm so I'm only college, I understand that. I'm not the only college level. And <laughs> is that the cartilage of my shoulders they're bearing in here? <laughs> I'm just trying to, I don't care about coning it up and down too much. It's just enough that I want all the clay going in a similar lot the same direction, see? And you get some of those big lumps sort of wedged in there. <laughs> when you work with, you know, a couple different kinds of consistency, you have to kind of, you know, throw it a little bit more gentle. It can't be quite as rough. So I'm just lost the load. What happens? <laughs> well, the workshop's over, guys. <laughs> Light rust color. 
as different from the honey. Okay. Then black.